the drought is still one of the top concerns among Nebraskan farmers. Even as we saw some precipitation these last couple months, many are asking if it's enough for our crops. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto joins us now with some important information for farmers. Veronica? The lack of precipitation, either rain or snow, can cause reduced soil moisture or groundwater, which could put many crops in danger. That is why experts say farmers should be ready as much as possible for another dry year. As most of Nebraska is under some type of drought conditions affecting more than 1.8 million people, experts say farmers should take several things into consideration, especially when dealing with irrigation. And irrigation is, you know, the optimum for, for dry weather. You know, we can put water on if it's dry, if it's wet, you know, we don't have to put it on. And so it really makes managing uh, a dry year much, much easier with irrigation. As we know, last year was very dry. Experts say producers are going to need to be prepared to manage irrigation. And, and a dry year, you know, you want to make sure everything's tuned up and running really well. You know, if there's any problems with the pivot or the well or any of that, you, you know, you want, definitely want to make sure it's in good shape this year to make sure it's ready to run and, and keep up if it continues to be dry. Melvin says irrigation scheduling is also key, but deciding when to do it can be a tough decision. Because there's just so many variables and, it, you know, you have to make that decision at least once a week all summer. So it's, it's something you need to have a good irrigation scheduling strategy to make those decisions quickly and easily. Experts say there are many other practices farmers can follow to keep as much moisture in their land as possible. I think when you're considering moisture conservation and trying to save what's out there, no-till farming is always a, you know, the the big one that always comes up. You know, it it not only provides a mulch or an insulation on the soil surface that prevents evaporation from being quite as quick as it would be with a bare soil. Melvin says farmers can also consider planting less amount of crops per acres of land or consider to go crops that will tolerate the drought better. And Melvin says farmers in eastern Nebraska can also take a look at what farmers have been doing at the western part of our state as they have been dealing with more severe drought. For more on this story, you can visit KLKNTV.com. All right. Thank you, Veronica.